faults. Stator windings faults involve armature winding and must be cleared quickly by complete shutdown of the generator. Only opening the circuit does not help since the EMF is induced in the stator winding itself. The stator faults include phase to yet faults, phase to phase faults, stator interturn faults, phase to yet faults. These faults normally occur in the armature slots. The damage at this point of fault is directly related to the selected neutral acting resistor. With fault current less than 20 amperes, negligible burning of the iron core results if the machine is stripped after some seconds. The repair work then amounts to changing the damaged coil without restriking the laminations. Circulating current by acid differential protection provides the earth fault protection. Such protection is called as merge price protection. However, the sensitivity of such protection for earth faults depends upon the resistance in neutral to earth connection and the position of earth fault in the winding. When there is a difference in currents of the two CTs, then the relay is operated. Phase to phase faults. Stator winding faults are the most dangerous and are likely to cause considerable damage to the expensive machinery. So, automatic protection is necessary to clear such faults in the shortest possible time in order to minimize the extent of damage. Hence, the relay is connected adjacent to one CT. This is also called as merge price protection. When there is a difference in currents between the two CTs, the relay operates. The effects of the ear in the stator are arcing to core which welds lamination together, causing eddy current hotspots on the subsequent use. Repairs to this condition involve expenditure of considerable money and time. Severe heating in the conductors damaging them and the insulation with possible fire breaks. Stator interturn faults. Short circuits between the turns of one coil may occur if the stator windings are made up of multi-turn coils. Such faults may develop owing to incoming current surges with a step wave front, which may cause a high voltage across the turns at the entrance of the stator winding. However, if the stator winding is made up of single turn coil with only one coil per slot, it is impossible to have interturn fault. If there are two coils per slot, the insulation between the coils is of such dimensions that an interturn fault is not likely to occur. During interturn fault in the phase winding, the currents flowing through the two parallel paths will be different and the proportional current will flow through relay. 